Hello and welcome back to your video tutorials. Today is going to be the 816. We're going to continue working the charts. The 816 one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and snap this window to the right hand side. Now, this time from the text bar, I'm going to open my Excel student files. Right click, here's my Excel because we also pinned that folder into the file explorer. And then you see, see by left clicking into the title bar, I'm gonna drag it into the left hand side. Okay, so we're gonna work with unit D, and then we need uh, the EXD4. Okay, uh, so we have this new spreadsheet. Okay, we're gonna be using. File, save as computer, Excel files. And Free Dog Bakery will be the name of this file, including the, the date. Okay, so we are going to be uh, uh, create um, at least two charts. Move and resize, maybe the chart, uh, change the chart design, change the layout and format the chart, and create another chart, another color sign for that. Okay, so let's say, okay, so there's a title, we have a three dog bakery, okay, so it's an expenses. About if we say, okay, we want to change 2009 for 2012, we're gonna to make that change right here into the formula bar. Now, right here, we have okay, we have totals. But we have no totals by corner, okay? So let's go ahead and get those totals by corner. Just using the Amazon. And then we have some expenses. Let's go ahead and get the totals. Perfect. Now, right here, they're asking hey, there's a net income or, or loss, okay? Perfect. Let's go ahead and get that formula, okay? So we have equals. Okay, and that's expenses and sales. Okay, so see, this is the total sales. So the total sales we are going to be deducting the total expenses. And every business there always going to be sales and expenses, income and expenses. Now, okay, anytime that we see this parenthesis is because more likely there is a negative number. Okay. So, for example, this particular company on this month, on the first quarter, see, they expend, I mean, they expend more money than what they had come in. Okay? So, there's a loss of 249.96. Now, let's go ahead and do the other one. Okay? Equals total sales minus total expenses. Okay? Now, from here to save time, I'm going to use a fill handle. Everybody knows how to use a fill handle. And there we go. Okay, so we have a loss and then income, income, and income. Perfect. Okay, now here's the charts. Okay, so let's say, okay, we want to display this data in a visual way. Okay, so let's see, starting with my expenses, I'm gonna go, which is A5, I'm gonna be selecting QE10. Remember that uh, in other sessions I mentioned that normally we don't want to include the totals. Okay, now back to insert. Okay, and right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this columns. Okay, that's my chart. Remember, anytime that we want to move the chart, we drag it from one of the corners. Here we are. Okay. Now, now we could visually see right away that the most money that this company takes. See, uh, expenses is gonna be on the payroll. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and check the switch rows and columns, and I think that's gonna look uh, even better. Okay. Here we have the chart title. One click is going to select the text box, and then three consecutive clicks inside the text box. 
they will highlight the text and then we will be able to change it. Okay, we're just gonna leave it like that, so perfect. Okay, now let me check under colors. Okay, there we are. As you guys can see, see parallel is the most expressive. Okay, there's the orange one. When we bring the pointer into the column, the letter screen tip is giving me all the information about payroll, quarter two, and how much money we spend. Okay, perfect. Now that we have this one, let's go ahead and create another one for the cells. And again, I'm not including the totals. Okay, so back to insert. I'm gonna go with another column, okay? Same column, just to compare one and the other. Okay, now I'm gonna have to scroll down until one of the corners with the four way arrows. When I see the four way arrows, I'm gonna drag this one right below the other. Okay, and there it goes. And there, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch the colors. Okay. something similar okay now this is a chart title okay and this is else okay now we go on compare one and the other cells I mean sorry cells okay now the other one we, we made a mistake the other one was the expenses so we're gonna Triple click on it and rename this expenses. Name. Okay. Now this table, uh, this charts. Okay, we could always modify them then individually. See, when I click into one of the columns, you guys are gonna see that only the orange columns are selected in this case, and that belongs to the payroll. Now what that means is that we could definitely go under format, and if we don't like those colors, we could do that. Change them, see, in the video. There's a shape field. Etc. Etc. Perfect. And then we click outside. Okay. Now, if we scroll down, we could definitely do exactly the same with the other. Okay, we could change those colors individually. Okay, remember why we create this? Uh, it's because basically we wanna display, see, in a visual way, or data. And there we are. And that's too bright. Perfect. Okay, and then save. So there we go. Okay, we have our two charts. Okay, now let's say that we want to create another one just for, uh, for the sales. Okay, so again, I'm going to select the data, insert. This time I'm going to be using the recommended. Let's see what we came out with. Mm. There's none that I like, so I'm going to click on cancel. Okay, now I'm going to look up here. Let's see what we can get. Okay, so there's a combo. Okay, I'm going to go with this combo. Same process, okay. From one of the corners, we're gonna drag this chart somewhere down here, okay. And again, this is just gonna be cells, perfect, okay. 
So it's going to be okay just uh, when you guys do, uh, triple click into one item. See the format chart area is going to open. Okay. I mean the ch format chart area is going to give us a lot of different options. You know, to use fill, no fill, solid fill, etc. Alright, as you guys can see, it changes. But normally, you don't want to go too deep into formatting terms. Okay. The main thing is that we want to see, we want to be able to see all the data okay in a visual way okay so there we go we could definitely change also this some of these colors individual etc etc if I made a mistake I could click on undo and there we are okay so that's the three dot bakery project um, charts. We created um, a column chart for the expenses, a column sales, and then another a comp chart for the sales. Okay, make sure that you guys click on save. Okay, now let's say that we want to make an annotation here. Okay, annotations are always useful. Insert, now the shapes. Okay, now we want a text box. And let's add that somewhere right here. I'm just gonna make an annotation, okay? Um, payroll. Too high. We need check this data okay now this is text boxes now see we have a new tool ground tools format okay and I could definitely use one of this with the same there you go if we want to center the text we select it, come back and just send it on center. Okay. There's gonna be occasions that we also wanna create a, a a copy of a shape. Now control D, control D C control D. Yeah, see control D is gonna give me another another copy. Okay, now in this case, I just want to make a copy and bring this one over here. Okay, we are going to highlight the text and say, okay, great job on the gathering. Okay, because Kirin is the one that is producing more income. This is what we're going to do. Okay, and then save. Okay, so there we go. Okay, we have them. Um, we continue practicing with charts. Okay, once you guys click on save, make sure that you guys click on exit. Use this other window. And that was six, day 16. Continue working with charts. We will be doing another exercise for this same day. Thank you, and you guys have a great day. Until next video tutorial. Bye bye.